Alright, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa ating mga viewers and we're almost halfway through sa February and right now we're currently seeing yung weakness na market and we are seeing yung mga reversal trades, reversal uh, position, medyo tinamaan talaga matindi and even the leaders as well, uh, hindi rin ganun nagko-confirm or nag advance yung presyo. No? So, with that, uh, we'll try to figure out and see kung ano pa yung mga positions that we should be looking at. No? We're going to build yung watch list natin. And before that, uh, very important part of the video, yung ating uh, quick word from our sponsor. No? This comes from Amos chapter 12 verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it no i think the, this was uh, in ancient times no there there was a point in time no na hindi nila masumpungan no yung uh, salita ng dios and uh, how can we relate that no sa ating uh, present times with all the technology that we have we have yung printed copies we have yung audio book we have yung ebook no ng bible but currently no uh we're seeing now most of the people if not no is taking for granted etong napakaimportanteng uh, libro na ibinahagi sa atin ng salita na salita niya mismo no ng Dios and uh nakakatakot isipin no na dumating yung panahon no probably magkaroon ng time na ano hindi natin makita yan hindi tayo maka rinig ng salita niya nakakatakot no what will happen to our society to our government kapag ka nawala na yung uh, bible right so i hope and pray na hindi yan mangyari and uh, definitely no definitely yung salita na yan is talagang nandiyan yan and dapat lang natin no na isipin and uh, dapat lang natin na talagang baga sana pag nilaylayan no kung ano yung mga sinasabi diyan because as we all know yung ating mga batas no halos karamihan diyan hinalaw diyan sa bible right so i think uh, what's more important than reading no is yung we try to comprehend and most of all you obey natin no kung ano yung nandiyan Right? So, being the one sharing to you na magbasa, no? Uh, talagang kumbaga sa ako, ginagawa ko talaga yan, no? With all the other responsibilities. Tapos may trading pa tayo. And, so, I make it to a point, no? Na talagang magbasa. Kahit na gano'ng ka-busy. Because I know, no? There, there's a full of knowledge truth and wisdom dyan sa libro na yan because I've read so many books sabi ko nga sa inyo I'm a very very uh, ano eh halos nagahabol kasi ako eh ang pakiramdam ko eh so there comes a point in time no? na parang kumbaga sana sa dami nang nabasa kong libro uh, na ano ka eh kumbaga parang uh, nasa saturate ka na halos parang hindi na enjoy or should I say parang ano dry no dry marami ka natututunan pero parang may kulang para kang uh, should I say uh, may kulang no yun yung generally na pakiramdam ko nun and may mga ilan akong mga verse na nababasa-basa din and then ang sabi ko bakit hindi ko basahin kung ano yung sinasabi niya baka may mapulot ako no coming from God himself and then that that is true no totoo nga and marami akong natutunan and eventually yung mga salita uh, I was able to to comprehend no and through ano din through, through prayers na rin naintindihan ko rin yung mga salita and that is what I'm sharing unto you no sa mga nakikinig na linggo-linggo I always encourage you to to read your bible 
And uh, sumantalahin nyo yung pagkakataon na nandiyan dyan yan. And uh, napaka-importante, no? Hindi lang para sa mga practical advices. Napakarami kasi, no? Full of wisdom yung libro na yan. Kaya, I encourage you guys to always read and uh, meditate on the word. Right. Uh, with that being said, we're now going to proceed sa ating uh, weekly review na market. And guys, no, anything that I would say at this point in time is just a matter of probability and nothing is uh, guaranteed. No? And uh, tulad nga na sinasabi ko sa inyo, if you are, if you want no, something na talagang 100%, you have to go back to the Bible. No? At this point in time, baka kung ano pa yung sabihin ko, matalo ka pa. No? Or hindi mo uh, pinag-aaral ang maigi no? on how you are attacking your, yung stocks. Pwede ka matalo. No? And uh, tulad nga ng sinasabi ko sa inyo, I am not your guru, but rather, nasa linya nyo ako. We're side to side, no? If I don't generate a good uh, watch list or yung mga analysis sa market, hindi rin ako kikita, alright? So, wala rin naman akong binibentang libro or seminar. Uh, ito lang naman, no? Ito lang naman yung aking parang pinaka-weekly review, no? And most of all, yung makapag-share ako sa inyo. Right? So, let's start. So, back to back, no? I think uh, for the last... Uh, first five weeks, I think, no? including yung later part ng December, five weeks na advancing index tayo. No? And then, for the last two weeks, we have yung back-to-back uh, retracement na ating uh, index, negative 74 points, and now, negative 162. So, this is a clear, clear sign that we should be uh, very defensive and very picky sa ating sa ating uh, mga position na pipiliin and uh, eto, eto yung, et, eto yung mga panahon na talaga kung bagay sa ano uh, separates no? yung profitable and unprofitable kinakailangan mong intindihin kung kailan ka uh, attack eh, kailan kang hindi uh, choose your battle no? and right now uh, kung bagay sa ano, maging defensive muna tayo and observe, observe no? last week I told you to observe muna and right now I think we should be defensive na no? at this point in time kasi hindi natin alam no? hindi natin hawak kung ano yung itatakbo ng market right so looking at the chart uh, dito tayo no? at this point in time makala natin magdidire-diretso na but uh, the market will do what it wants to do and dito sana tayo atake no na natin kung dito siya mag uh, magsusupport no above 7 8 level na yan let's try to check and see kung ano yung yan niyan so for this week we have yung move of the week uh, we have yung MB no 50% and i think at the same week then no we also have yung TKC 50% din and kung mapapansin niyo these are penny stocks or very unusual no halos walang setup hindi lang nagtataasan. So, if you can't uh, watch this intraday, I would rather not trade it. No? Kasi, kumbaga sa ano, ito yung mga panahon na ano, eh, medyo bored yung mga traders, no? day traders in particular. And, uh, kung ano yung tumaas, sakaya na sila. No? In these penny stocks, napakalaki ng spread, napakadaling i-push. No? Kaya, nagsisiling ng ganito. Right? So, Ang problema kasi sa mga ganitong stocks na nagsisiling is napakabilis, no? Yung execution nito is very hard because sometimes split seconds or within minutes lang nangyayari yan, eh. Yung mga ganyang biling pagtaas. And then, the moment in time na bibili ka na, saka naman sila magsisell, which is uh, wala kang kalaban-laban, no? Because sometimes groups yan, group of traders, or kumbaga isang pool of traders and then may signal na mag-sell sila ikaw naman yung mabibentahan and then uh, ang bilis ang bilis niyan once you get hit 10 20% ma-freeze ka na diyan 
So if you don't have the skills yet or the the right mentality para sumali sa mga ganyang uh, trades, I, I advise you not to uh, trade and uh, mag-focus ka na lang muna no sa mga stocks or uh, equities na kumbaga repeatable, right? And uh, hindi naman ganoon katindi yung balik sa iyo. Alright. So second week na ng February and going to rate it at 4 uh, defensive and be selective no so tulad ganun sinabi ko sa inyo when we see yung mga ganyang uh, trades na TKC, MB, Makai sama mo na rin dyan these are the, the kind of stocks no na mabilis pataasin and medyo kumbaga sa ano nga yung tulad ganun sinasabi ko bored yung mga traders kaya kung baga kung ano na yung una nila makita ang tumaas, sakaya na sila doon. And uh, napakadelikado, no? Especially sila, intraday, mababantayan nila. Ikaw naman, uh, nakita mo lang nang biglang tumaas, sumakay ka. And then pag retrace niyan, ikaw naman yung may iwan sa taas. So, so delikado, no? So, again, we're also seeing, no? Yung mga reversal plays, like yung surpass, CHP, and also yung web is being hit hard no so reversal maganda siya but uh pagka ganitong uh, shaky yung market sila rin yung unang tinatamaan no unlike yung mga leaders medyo mas stable sila right so again uh, be selective lang and be defensive hangga't we do not see yung support na nagpapakita ganun muna yung iisipin natin at this point in time no so may medyo may time factor no yung ating mga reviews and uh, siguro mga 3 weeks ago we're very bullish and then after 2 weeks tingnan mo no halos nag defensive ka na no agad so yun yung sinasabi ko we have to kumbaga sa uh, ano we have to fine tune we have to to review pa rin yung mga position natin week by week no kung kaya ko nga lang gawin to day by day why not no but uh, with all the other responsibilities no and hindi lang naman tayo puro sa trading din we have other things to do eh hindi ko kakayanin no mag-update day to day right so with that uh let's now move on sa ating uh, mga watch list no SMPH still strong all right itong SMPH when and if I'm going to execute yung SMPH I really want this, no, itong 40, itong resistance area na to, below 40, na to be taken out, no. So, stories ng SMPH, I think for, for 2018, no, uh, they have 17% uh, net income, and that's good, no. Being the juggernaut that it is, uh, usually nga yung mga index na yan, usually mga below 10% lang yan, eh, quarterly niyan or yung annual uh, increase niyan. But uh, SMPH, right, 17%. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember it right, malaki yun, no? Para kumbaga sa, ano, sa SMPH. And right now, with the index being hit, uh, medyo nag-hesitate siya. But I do not mind buying this when it actually breaks itong below 40. Right, so alam niyo naman, SMPH is one of those heavy hitters, no? Also, with Ayala Land, uh, ito yung mga stocks na kumbaga sa ano medyo tiwala ka no na hindi basta-basta babagsak and you can uh, hold it no for the long term right nung nag-umpisa nga ako yan yung mga plano ko dati no puro mga blue chips blue chips and sa ngayon no watch list na lang muna and uh, we want to see this break itong uh, resistance area na to maliit lang naman yung resistance Mahina lang and uh, I think doable naman yan. And uh, yun lang kung bagay sa ano ba yun, breakout tayo. Right? So, just put this on your watch list. Itong SMPH, maganda yung pinapakita niya. Right? Let's now move on sa isa pa sa ating mga watch list. Itong Bloom. Alright, we're seeing big volume dito sa Bloom last Friday. And it finally cleared yung uh, 1250, no? Uh, I think finally cleared yung uh, 12 area. And then, nag-end up nga siya sa 13. Right now, mayroong manipis na manipis na resistance dito sa 13. And, ano sana to eh, I would not hesitate to buy 
kung maganda yung market kasi nga maganda naman yung volume sa 13 but uh siguro ako I would I would like to see it uh, ano muna no kahit kahit mag-retrace ng konti back to 1250 doon ako mag-accumulate and medyo obvious na rin kasi siya ngayon eh no baka ganun ang gawin dito baka sa Friday next Friday na, na ulit tirahin to but uh kung medyo tiwala ka naman sa Bloom, I think you could uh, partially buy this, no? Basta, ano, i-range buy mo siya. I think from 12.50 or 13, bumili ka na, and then another 50% sa 12.50. Maganda na yon no? I think, uh, it's really bound, no? To, to, to retest yung 52-week high niya. Because as we all know, yung, yung P-Core nga was out, na, was kicked out of the index. And then, pasok naman si Bloom, no? And then, yung mga, alam naman natin, yung mga fund managers, they have to take into account yung Bloom. So, nag-accumulate din sila ng shares nila, no? Sa ating Bloom, no? Especially yung mga index-only funds, kinakailangan nila makuha yung Bloom na yan. So, right, yun nga. Uh, at this point in time, medyo obvious. And, pauhupain muna nila to, I think. Uh, kung maganda nga lang yung index na tinatakbo kahit hindi ka na nga tumawa dito sa 13 eh. but um, with the index how, it, how it's uh, reacting uh, it's better to be on the defensive side no? uh, 1250 no? 213 magandang uh, buying range na yan no? we have the confirmation naman no? with that big candle and I think it's going to retest yung uh, 52 week high baka medyo matagalan nga lang no? kung hindi maka-recover yung index natin ng mabilis. Alright. Next on our watch list would be green. Again, with green, napakalakas, no? This is the actual break uh, with the news. Alright. So, ayan. And right now, uh, ito yung tinatawag na uh, flag, din, flag na naman, no? And uh, maganda tong bloom, no? Kasi medyo nagko-consolidate siya dito sa top pa. So right now, what we want to see sa Bloom is to actually uh, break itong ano, tung, tung level na to. I think this is below 340. And para naman natin masabi na blue skies na. Ano. But I think it's ano, ano, I think it's more safe to say na at least give it at least mga 1 or 2 weeks muna no para mas masolid yung magiging uh, consolidation before the actual break no right but right now if you don't want to be you know ma left behind din dito sa sa green trade na to or sa green green energy kahit partial uh, buy ka muna no sa sa level na to maganda rin naman yung green no maganda no kasi kahit may bumababa yung index or na maraming nagbabagsakan na may maintain ng green no. Ibig sabihin lang there are a lot of bulls dito sa 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 stocks na to. Base na rin sa price action and yun lang. We just want to see yung actual break mismo ng green, alright right? Kasi no, ilan days pa lang yan eh no. Simula ng news and hindi pa halos bumababa, alright So I think meron pang itataas yan. Etong green energy na yan. Right next on our watch list, eto yung house. Right, so in intraday ko na yung chart. I think this is 15 minutes. Uh, mahirap na rin ano to. Baga sa ano, daming buyer nito. We have yung buyback transactions coming in. I think this is 2 billion. And uh, you don't expect this to, to retrace much. So, meron tayong buying opportunity dito. Manipis na nipis na support sa 1180. And then, uh, S2, no? Support 2 dito sa 1120 area. You could buy at those levels. And, uh, kung mapagbibigyan pa, kasi napakalakas din ng house. Alright? So, I remember, right, last time na, ano, na, baga sa, ano, iba, mag-take profit. Uh, house, no? Baga sa, ano, maganda. Maganda yung pinapakita. And, I think this will be the leaders, right, together with AVA. Uh, sigurado sigurado na ito yung mga leaders na ano for for Q1 na talagang paborito ng mga ano ng mga institution no together with FDC yan yung mga ano natin eh mga leaders talaga natin eh 
right uh one of the potential leaders as well no and i think this would be a good good uh, stocks to watch this week etong VLL pinitik na naman ito yung ano you know yung unang institutional uh, tinatawag natin na, na buying no yung ganyan karami yung volume pangalawa to no so at this point in time siguradong sigurado na tayo cleared na yung 650 hanggang 7 7 pesos area so ibig sabihin ng cleared uh, halos imposible na no or should i say mahirap na yan na mahuli diyan sa level na yan ulit unless it it run up again and then bumaba no so solid solid na yan kung makakabili ka pa diyan o mapagbibigyan ka pa but right now we're seeing no na it, it stop at 8 it. it's a very very uh whole number no yung 8 pesos para kung baga sa ano pinindot na lang 8 pesos per share tapos lahat ng nadaanan nasa gasaan eh Right, but uh, right now kasi nga kung 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 hindi nga lang uh, medyo maganda yung takbo ng index, bibiling ko na rin to eh no, sa 8, but right now we want to be on the defensive side. Right, kahit 750. Right, but if it's break itong area na to, buy it no. So either way, bumaba or tumaas, we have to put yung BLL sa ating watch list. Same sa house their buying instructions right and maganda maganda sa ating watch list so again yung tulad ng sinasabi ko sa inyo for Q1 I think it's gonna be ABBA FDC and the uh, house who will be on the, the the top of the charts no for uh, quarter 1 you should uh, wala lang yung FDC and yung ABBA uh, core na ano rito eh na charts And I hope that you were able to gain something no, or insights na makatulong sa inyo sa inyong trading. Again, uh, take care of your uh, capital and be, be, be very defensive no, sa ating uh, market uh, condition. Alright, maraming salamat sa panonood.